everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all loving Norwich. Absolutely destroying the championship right now. And today I'll be previewing Norwich's game coming up against Sheffield Wednesday. Away from home at Hillsborough. Obviously Sheffield Wednesday struggling a lot this season. Um, they obviously had that points deduction at the start of the season which... I guess didn't help them uh, and didn't really give them any chance to, I guess, get out of those relegation spots, which they are currently stuck in, uh, I guess. But Norwich at the minute, obviously high flying. That 3-0 win against Luton was absolutely fantastic. Um, and I can't see anything really changing. Um, I, From what I've read is uh, that Sheffield Wednesday do have a whole host of uh, first team players out injured or suspended or unavailable. Uh, for this game coming up, which really doesn't help their chances coming up against the Norwich side, who are so formidable at the minute. Um, you know, the Norwich's injury list is uh, is a lot smaller than what it was maybe earlier in the season. Obviously, we've got Adam Eder out injured, who's unavailable for tomorrow's game. Ben Gibson is a late call. And, you know, we've got replacements um, to come in. You know, if, if Ben Gibson's injured, Crystal Zimmerman can fill in, or Andrew Oma B. Medley can go fill in. Yeah, so Norwich do really have any that we have replacements if we do have injuries come up um but you know Timmy Pukki has been the man on fire at the minute hasn't he nine goals in seven games and for me he is still the best striker in this division I, I don't get me wrong Ivan Tony has been brilliant throughout this season but Pukki has now done this for two seasons you know he's now got 20 league goals for a striker who had been called finished um, around the summer time where he wasn't maybe scoring as much um, past his sell-by day and he's just gone and proven all those haters wrong and uh, has been fantastic um, of late you know you know nine goals in seven games is, is severely incredible and I think that Swansea loss has kind of rejuvenated Norwich's uh, fighting spirit and we are now seeing the Norwich of old the Norwich of the 2018-19 season scoring goals for fun again um, but this time we're not conceding many goals and defensively we have been excellent. Um, the addition of Giannoulis uh, and Ben Gibson has been fantastic. That partnership between Ben Gibson and Grant Hanley for me is the best centre-back partnership in this division without a doubt. Um, so yeah, we've been absolutely excellent uh, defensively. Tim Krull, obviously we know what Tim Krull's capable of. Max Ahrens, we know what he is capable of. And we've all, they've, all, they've all been fantastic this season, that whole defensive unit. Now, another sticky situation, I guess, going into tomorrow's game, which is a situation you want to have, is who do we go with in that number 10 position? Obviously, we saw Lucas Rupp start there against Luton uh, coming in for Vrancic, who may have been just a bit more, a bit tired. Obviously, he's, uh, he's not getting any younger, um, the Bosnian midfielder. So, uh, you know, it was good to see Lucas Rupp come in and actually do really, really well. It was one, for me, it was uh, very underappreciated in that game. I thought he was just linked up that, Linked up the midfield to attack brilliantly, and uh, you know it was it had a vital part to play in. Uh, I believe two of the goals um, that we scored in the first half, both both of Puki's goals, he had a very pivotal part to play. Um, so yeah, it's just who do we start with? Is it Vrancic or Rupp? And obviously, like I say, Sheffield Wednesday, they're very very poor. Do we want to maybe go with Vrancic, someone who can unlock a defence so so easily? Um, or do we want to go with Rupp, obviously been performing very, very well. Is there more to come of him? And it's a very, very difficult situation. Who do we go with in that number 10 position? Obviously, we've also got Marco Stiefman coming back. I don't know if he'll be available for this game. Uh, but, you know, we, we, we've got a whole host of, of options. Even Kieran Dow um, as well, who we haven't seen enough of this season. As much as what Norwich fans would have liked to have seen of him. Um, so we've got a whole host of options in that number 10. But I think it does come to Lucas Rupp or Mario Vrancic for... Uh, tomorrow's game against Sheffield Wednesday. And going forward, obviously, Cantwell and Buendia and Pukki, it's the best front three in the championship, hands down. When they're both firing on, on all cylinders and they're looking brilliant, um, you know, there's there's no front three that really comes close. Um, definitely. But going into my predicted 11, um, I'm going to go oh, Tim Crawley in goal, uh, Giannoulis, Gibson and Hanley. I think Gibson will start. Uh, if not, it'd be Crystal Zimmerman. Uh, right back, Max Ahrens. The two centre midfielders, Kenny McLean and Oliver Skip. And I'm going to go in at number 10 position, Lucas Rupp. I think there is more to come from. I'm really intrigued to what Lucas Rupp could, 
uh, can do. Um, and I do want to see him play more football because I was really impressed with him when he did get that opportunity to start uh, earlier in the championship season. He looked very, very promising and obviously got that injury. And I'm, I want to see him start more games. I do think he's got something to offer to this Norwich City side. Um, and I'm hoping it will come out tomorrow if he does get that start. And obviously the front three is unchanged. Todd Cantwell, Emi Buendia and Timu Puki. Um, and... You know, I just think we're going to absolutely trounce Sheffield Wednesday. I think with their injuries at the minute, their squad depth isn't the greatest compared to Norwich. And with us not having too many players out injured or unavailable, um, I think we're going to absolutely trounce them. And uh, I'm going to go with a 4 0 Norwich win, similar to what we last did at Sheffield Wednesday at Hillsborough uh, two seasons back, where Dennis Rebeni even managed to get on the score sheet. Um, but yeah, that's my score prediction, guys. That's my predict 11. And that is my preview going in to tomorrow's game against Sheffield Wednesday. It's a must-win for Norwich with Brentford and Swansea both winning uh, their games. Uh, we have to make sure that we keep on top of the pack and keep 10 points clear. Uh, but like I say, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I shall see you for the review, which will be tomorrow.